Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. In this video I will be reviewing this Wi-Fi 6E PCIe wireless adapter sent to me by Z-Tooth. Ok, so the model is AX210. It's a Wi-Fi 6 plus Bluetooth 5.2 all in one. Ok, so this is the the website from the, the brand where you can read all about this item all the, 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 the details I will put those details in the video right now we will we'll start scrolling on the screen I will also leave the links in the video description okay so you can read everything about this uh, Wi-Fi card that I will be testing on one of my computers okay so this card is meant for superior speed so it requires that you have also uh, one of the latest routers to be able to send Wi-Fi with good speed for a good reception so if you have a, an old router not capable to deliver the kind of speed that this device is able to operate you cannot uh, get the juice out of your router okay so for good speed you also need a uh, not so old router okay uh, I have um, my router is from Vodafone and it's recent so uh, for me it's not 6e but it's 5 5g and I believe the, the speed is really good so I will be able to, to test this product with no issues okay so this is all we can find inside the box everything even a color instruction documentation a cd-rom that will not be necessary because uh, windows 10 will automatically download all the drives so we have here the device as you can see hit sync and the connection for the Bluetooth the antennas 2 times 6 TBI faster and more stable and if you have a small factor you can change this metal bracket if you have okay so it's easy to change it comes also with a screwdriver if you need to 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 change the the plate or to mount the card in your computer so it, this is the cable for the Bluetooth if you don't plan to use the Bluetooth you don't need to use this cable okay so the white connection goes here and the other one the black one to the motherboard okay so this is how we attach the antennas and we have the the item ready to assemble on the computer to assemble we will need to remove the antennas again it will be easier to mount without the antennas okay and that Wi-Fi symbol will be lighted when 
it's working okay that's it's a, an indicator so this can be mounted on all of those greens so this one's white I cannot use it and that yellow arrow or yellow sign was showing you where to connect to the USB power for the Bluetooth okay so the card is now ready we are assembling again the antennas and it's connected firstly I will try without the Bluetooth okay so now I will do a test okay so it's connected it's red it's ready and first you need to check updates in order the drivers to install automatically okay it's now installed and I deactivated on purpose because uh, first I want to measure the speed with cable okay so now we are connected by Ethernet cable and I'm testing the speed okay 180 megabits per second that's what I can get from the cable driver directly from my router now I'm I will be trying a, a cheap USB Wi-Fi just to check okay you can see that the Wi-Fi is it's still disabled now with the cheap Wi-Fi card it's really really bad okay really really bad so it's not smart to pay for a really fast Wi-Fi or internet supply and then use a Wi-Fi card that it's not able to give you the best performance okay so now I will be enabling the Wi-Fi card and let's test the speed okay so really really good speed really really good speed so this is a really really good solution and as you can see uh, the cable is unplugged so we are working with the Wi-Fi provided by this adapter and it works really nice okay so now I plug the cable for the Bluetooth and once again we have to install the drivers is really quickly we go to Windows upgrade or updates and search for updates and I will you will will find the Bluetooth so it's now connected and ready to start so I will connect to the speakers and we will do a, a quick test for the sound Okay, it's it's ready let's check the sound that it's working perfectly so don't forget if you found this video useful if if you are considering this this Wi-Fi adapter it's a good solution I hope you liked the video don't forget to give it a, a thumbs up and consider to subscribe thank you very much I catch you on a new video bye bye